Hi everyone, today I'll be doing a video on a really fun product. As some of you might know who watch my channel, lip products are like my favorite thing and they're what makes me the most excited about makeup because I love lipsticks. I love them, I love them. I love lip liners, lipsticks, lip, liquid lipsticks, I don't really like lip glosses. <laughs> I don't really like them. Anyways, um, today I will be testing out these babies. And then there's this little baby right here. These are all the Sephora liquid lipsticks. I really fell in love with this little sample that I got. And then I decided, why not? I'm going to go and buy a couple more and see how I really like all of them, if they're consistent throughout and whatnot. So this is a little lip swatch and a little review on these lipsticks. So if you would like to know more about the Sephora lipsticks, then go ahead and keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want more videos on lip stuff. So without further ado, let's jump in. Today I will be swatching the Sephora lipsticks for you. I have four different shades. I originally started with this and I really like the formula. So I was like, you know what? Let me pick some up and kind of do a little run on them and see how they come out and how they feel and if they're consistent and just overall if they are a good price because they are generally pretty cheap. So these do run for $14, which is generally six to $7 cheaper than all the other lipsticks that I'm in love with. So I just wanted to do a little, a couple of swatches and to let you know how I feel about it. I have five colors. So I have the color 10, which is a like a corally color. I have number four, which is a watermelon color. I have this, which was originally what I got. Um, I think this is shade 01, which is just like a perfect red color. Um, I have shade 35, which is a nice purpley color. And then I have the shade 44, which is a, um, a gray, deep purple color. So I'm gonna go and start with these colors. I have worn them. This isn't like a first impression. This is more of a swatches and then letting you know how I feel about it. So I'm just gonna go and apply them on my lips and kind of tell you what I liked and what I didn't like about them and whether I would suggest them to you or not. So I'm gonna start with the color um, 04, which is a watermelon color. This is one of those that I really did not like. So this is what the color looks like after one swatch, like very patchy. Um, the color is really beautiful. It doesn't really fit my fit skin tone, but it is really beautiful. It's like a nice watermelon color. Um, these are fairly long lasting, but this color is just so patchy and it crumbles off. It doesn't really layer well because it just becomes like more clumpy too. This is what it looks like after the second swatch. I really, really wanted to love this color, but it just, honestly, I went into work with this one day and I had to clean it off like 10 minutes later. I had to apply a whole bunch of lip balm to make it even like normal on my lips and to make it not patchy. And I could not, I could not handle it. I was like, I can't and I cleaned it off. So this color, meh, I really did not like, so I'm just gonna go and wipe this off. So the next color that I have is um, the color 10, which is a nice and like corally color. So this color is starting to be a little better. Um, I kind of generally think that these get better as deeper and darker the colors get. Um, I think they just didn't do a very good job of the lighter colors. So this one's not bad. It's pretty opaque. It doesn't look very patchy right now, but I would need to apply a second layer and the second layer doesn't really apply all that well. So I'm just gonna go and apply a second layer. See, this is nice and cute. Um, these do work very, very much so more beautifully if your lips are exfoliated. Um, but I have lipsticks that work perfectly fine when my lips are not exfoliated and they're lipsticks that are this color that are a little bit more expensive Where you don't have to go and make sure that your lips are exfoliated for it to look good So this color is like so so for me. I really love the pigmentation I really really love the color of this. This is such a beautiful springy color. Just not my favorite now I'm gonna jump into the purples. Um, this is shade 35 and it's a nice little um, Purpley color uh, just the way that this applies. This is a lot more liquidy than the other two are they seem to be a little bit more um, like a velvety and like creamy so this is what shade 35 looks like. This is so much more a liquidy kind of texture when it goes on. Super opaque, not patchy, totally beautiful, very long wearing, um, dries down extremely matte and not it does not flake at all, which I was really impressed because I had tried out the other two colors first and I was kind of like, 
Ooh, these are a miss completely, but I really did enjoy this color. This is a beautiful color. I love this. It's super opaque, super nice, long lasting, great formula. Um, the next color that I have is the color 44. And this is a nice like deep brown gray purple. And this one, just like the one before this, um, is beautifully pigmented, um, very opaque. Um, very long lasting. This was one swipe of the product and I even wiped some product down. This lasted a long time. This satisfies my freaking vampy side so much and I love it. I, this I could wear every day and like be content with my life. And this is the one that I first started with. This is I think the color one. It's a deep like a blue red and this is the first one that I tried out and I was like oh yeah Sephora come through. And this is the original one, like I mentioned, that I fell in love with. The consistency is amazing. It didn't budge all day after eating all day because it was one of those days where I just like continuously kept consuming food. Did not move. Probably my favorite red, like true red lipstick because I don't really wear these. But this one is just so nice with my skin tone that I can't even like. So perfect. My favorite. I love it. Like overall, they're a different consistency. They are a different opacity. They are a different length of time that you can wear them. So I really, really honestly wanted to do the review and say, man, these are great. Like go buy them all. They're cheaper than the most and just as good, but it's kind of hit or miss. I want to say go and try these with the darker colors because that is where they seem to be better. The lighter colors, not so much, but if you wanna try them out, maybe go for it. It might work better for you than it did for me. I'm not sure, um, but I would rate these maybe like a six out of 10 just because they are very not consistent with the formula. Um, other than that, I really don't have any kind of negative words to say. Um, they're a great price and some of them are really, really high quality. So yeah, that is all I had to say about these. Um, if you have used them or know of any brands that are kind of more on the cheaper side, but are really, really amazing and don't dry your lips out, go ahead and let me know down below. Thank you for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.